I am the pharynx. I am a cone-shaped passageway that begins at the nasal and oral cavities and leads to the esophagus and throat. I act as a passageway for food on its way to the stomach and air on its way to the lungs. I have three main divisions. My anterior portion is called the nasopharynx, which is the back of the nasal cavity. It connects to the oropharynx by a passageway called the isthmus. The oropharynx begins at the back of the mouth cavity and continues down to the throat to the epiglottis. The third section is called the laryngopharynx, which starts at the epiglottis and leads down to the esophagus. I'm the esophagus. I connect the pharynx to the stomach. I'm a muscular tube that is about 8 inches long. I am between the spine and the heart. The upper esophageal sphincter um, starts at the pharynx and it is a bundle of muscles on the top of the esophagus which is under conscious control and it aids for breathing and swallowing food. It keeps food from going down the windpipe. The lower esophageal sphincter is at the lower end of the esophagus and it meets the stomach. It is not under voluntary control. When it is closed, it prevents acids and stomach contents such as chyme from traveling back upwards. The esophagus is lined in stratified squamous epithelium because the esophagus is exposed to rough abrasive food contents such as pieces of bone. Hi, I'm the stomach. I'm a muscular J-shaped organ of the digestive tract. I'm located in the upper left quadrant of the abdomen beneath the diaphragm. I'm positioned between the esophagus and small intestine. There's a sphincter between the esophagus and me which allows food to pass through me and prevents chyme from flowing backwards into the esophagus. The pyloric valve is situated between me and the small intestine which allows chyme to pass into the small intestine and back to me. I secrete gastric juices into the lumen and a hormone called gastrin into the blood. My wall is made up of four layers, the mucus, submucus, muscular, and peritoneal layers. The muscular layer has three different layers of smooth muscle with fibers running in different directions. I have a large supply of blood vessels for the absorption of nutrients from digested food. My primary role is to act as a temporary receptacle for food. And while food is in me, it is mixed with gastric juices that are secreted by cells in the mucosal layer. I'm the pancreas. I lie behind the stomach and extend laterally behind the duodenum toward the spleen. I have a strange pinkish gray color and I'm about six inches long. My tissue is soft and easily torn. My pancreatic juice is a combination of digestive enzymes and buffers. My pancreatic duct carries my juice to the duodenum. I secrete a thousand milliliters of my juice every single day. My enzymes do a lot of my work for me. They do a lot of the digestive work for the small intestine. My enzymes are carbohydrates, lipases, nucleases, and proteases. Hi, I'm the liver. I'm located in the upper right hand portion of the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm on top of the stomach, right kidney, and intestines. I weigh about three pounds and am a dark reddish brown. I contain two lobes made with thousands of lobes. Lobes are connected with larger ducts to form the hep heptic duct. The heptic duct transports uh, the bile produced by the liver cells to the gallbladder and duodenum. I have many functions and some of them are to regulate chemical levels in the blood producing bile which carries away waste products from the liver. Most blood leaving the stomach and intestines go through the liver. I process blood and break down nutrients and drugs to flow easier throughout your body. I also regulate blood clotting. I also regulate blood vessels of amino acids form the building blocks of protein. I resist infections by producing immune factors by removing bacteria from the bloodstream. When liver has broken down harmful substances, the byproducts go through bile or blood. The byproducts enter the intestines and begins to leave the body. Blood byproducts are filtered out by kidneys and leave the body in the form of urine. I 
I am the gallbladder. I am a small muscular membranous pear-shaped sac that stores bile produced by the liver. I control the expulsion of bile into the duodenum. I am approximately 8 centimeters in length and 4 centimeters in diameter. I am located in the right upper abdominal quadrant. I also make contact with the superior part of the duodenum and the transverse colon. I have the ability to hold up to 50 milliliters of bile. My bile can be emptied via the cystic duct into the common bile duct. From there, the bile will empty into the lumen of the duodenum. There are three parts to me, the fundus, the body, and the neck. My primary function is to store and secrete bile. After David eats a meal, a substance called cholecystokinin is secreted into the walls of the duodenum. My bile, which was originally produced in the liver, emulsifies the fats in partly digested food. During storage, my bile becomes more concentrated, which increases its potency and intensifies its effect on fats. Go. Hi, I'm the small intestine. I'm placed in between the stomach and anus and I'm about 20 feet long and an inch in diameter. I help the body to digest and absorb most of the nutrients from the food or drink. Mechanical and chemical digestions and 90% of absorption happen in me. I fill most of the peritoneum cavity and one of the important parts of me is villi. It's finger-like projections that cover the surface of mucosa and it increases the surface area of me for a fast absorption of nutrients. It supplies with blood vessels which transport the nutrients to the rest of the body. I'm divided into three sections. First section of me is duodenum and it's the closest segment to the stomach. It's 10 inches long and curves in a C shape to encloses the pancreas. It also receives chyme from the stomach and receives digestive secretions from the pancreas and liver. Second segment is jejunum and it's about 8 feet long. It's in the middle section of me and a lot of chemical and nutrient absorption occurs in jejunum. Last segment is liam. It's about 12 feet long and it's the longest segment in the intestine. Okay. It ends with iliocere sphincter which regulates the movement of chyme into the large intestine. Also, it prevents a backward movement of material from the large intestine. I am the large intestine. I have many components which include the cecum, appendix, colon, rectum, anus, and anal canal. I transport waste out of David's body and I absorb water from the waste before it leaves. I am 5 feet long. My cecum is the pouch at the beginning below the ileocecal valve. My appendix is 3 inches long and contains lymphoid tissues and serves immunity function. My colon is the greatest length. It is in four sections, the ascending, transverse, descending, and sigmoid colons. My rectum is 8 inches and my anal canal is 1 inch.